Hey there, Aries, and welcome back for a general love reading. Let's tap into your energy, Aries, and see what is currently taking place between you and your soulmate, your two of cups, your spiritual connection with your person. It could be a twin flame, a lesson mate. It is a general happy birthday to you, Aries. Hope you have had an amazing born day. Hope you are, all of your desires are being fulfilled. I hope you are elevating spiritually. Shout out to all of you bold, daring, beautiful, confident Aries. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries pertaining to their soul mate, their soul connection? Pulling your energy from soul connections when two hearts meet. Now let's see who your heart didn't already met or who you're about to meet, all right? Please like, share, and subscribe. It says spiritual. It says your spiritual journey is beginning. So I feel like in spirit is telling you to trust. You may not understand. It says you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So you may not be trusting what you're feeling. You may not be excited about it. This is a past life person. It says we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So you could be dealing with the reincarnated um soulmate here so, so that you can uh, learn your lessons because it's telling you so for some of you areas you're about to have a reincarnated soulmate that's entering into your life now it could be the same soulmate but in a different flat in a different um avatar so to speak a different vessel so that's why spirits say your spiritual journey is beginning so it's almost like Everything that you have learned up <laughs> up until now, Aries, it's not going to be it's, it's, it's not going to be compared uh, to what you're about to experience because this is on a deeper spiritual level here. But you do have rejoice in the reverse. It says embrace your loving connection and rejoice. So some of you guys are not rejoicing. You're not embracing your connection because you're not trusting it. So this is why spirit may be sending you another uh, a past life person. For some of you guys, it could be somebody from your past that you have not closed out this chapter. You have not learned your lesson. So you guys are going to keep on. Uh, it, it, like I say, you can run into another, your same past life person here. And um, it's, it's going to be the same energy, just a different body here. So I feel like there's lessons to be learned here. So it's almost like you may have somebody that's coming in from your past or I feel like a, 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 a lesson. I feel like I feel like you're dealing with a lesson. This is what you're dealing with because it says spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. Now, we know the spiritual journey is full of lessons here. We, we may not know. We, we look, they may not feel like lessons. They may feel personal sometimes, Aries, but they're not. They're all a part of our spiritual journey. We, as the human carnal part of us, we just get caught up on the lesson. Sometimes we fall in love with the karmics. Sometimes we fall in love with the lessons here. It's about elevating, evolving, growing, healing, and tapping into your, your, your power, even though you're going through your spiritual journey, because your spiritual journey consists of your powers too. So spirit, what energy and what is going on in Aries life pertaining to love? Aries. Okay, so there it is. Three of Wands and the Two of Cups, Aries. Waiting. Your ships are coming in. Somebody, you got a soulmate entering into your life. It can be very, very successful. Six of Wands. Excuse me. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. What's going on in Aries' love life? So we definitely have a connection here. This is why spirits say your spiritual journey is beginning because you got a soulmate that's coming into your life, a past life. It says that you're about to reunite with this person. And for some of you guys, it is somebody here from your from this past um, when you were younger. And for others, it's just a whole new person coming in. Um, but I feel like you still have a soulmate connection with them. So for some of you guys, you're going to start off dating. Somebody may be waiting to ask you out. You may start off as friends with this person. It could be somebody you work with. Three of Pentacles, somebody you've done work with or for. It also represents support. Um, somebody wanted to be on your team or somebody wanted to join up, link up with you. You could be really going out and really enjoying yourself. You could have people that's really, you know, looking out for you. 
with the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, I feel like it's all about the uh, connection. It's all about the um, marketing. It's all about putting yourself out there and linking up. I feel like you got a lot of link. Look, you got the Three of Wands too. So it's multiple people showing up in your energy. Somebody could have multiple people that they're dealing with, but this seems just to be like somebody's going out a lot. Doors may be opening up, but then again, you could be around uh, one-sided situations here. Somebody is, somebody is, someone is not, look, somebody in their shadow side here. See? See that dark energy? They need to come to the light. So it could be somebody here is, uh, could be you, <laughs> could be dealing with a Libra. So uh, in fairness, unrequited love, I feel like this is an unrequited love, a one-sided situation here. So this is why somebody has to learn it again. Ooh, but they go to Ace of Pentacles, Aries. So you do have something coming in then. I feel like you're having a problem between you. You seem like you're financially stable. I feel like either somebody is checking you out, somebody is crushing on you, or you're going to catch feelings for somebody. Maybe you didn't want a relationship at the time, or maybe you are newly single. So what's going on with Aries? You got the three of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, three of wands, six of wands. You got the three of cups, the two of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You got the ace of pentacles, the three of pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And you have justice with Libra energy. So this is definitely a soulmate connection. You could be dating somebody on your job. Somebody may be finding that out. Somebody may be like, God dang, I'm dating Aries. They're like, well, I'm, I'm dating Aries too, so what up? <laughs> Look, <laughs> you may have folks bumping heads, bringing you to lunch. I mean, bringing you lunch. <laughs> and that's how they're going to find out that maybe you're dating more than one person on the job because everybody is <laughs> showing up at the same time to bring you something, god dang it. So there, there are some partnerships going on. You Look, somebody may be, this, look, what they song? I just keep hearing that song. What's it? Uh, Ursha. Be lovers before friends. So some of y'all, y'all been on a job creeping with somebody. Y'all been going out to y'all car smoking with this three of pentacles and three of cups. And y'all built a relationship like that. For somebody, you started a relationship on the job just, just being a homie. But maybe somebody wants more and maybe you don't even know that this person is sending to your life to be more. Excuse me. Yeah, I got it like that. I got my rag on my head today. All right. <laughs> Leave that alone. So let's see what's going on for Aries. Why is this three of wands here showing up for Aries with the soulmate connection? What does Aries need to know about this three of wands? Wait, waiting, turning your back, waiting on your ships to come in. Foresight, planning, looking ahead. Ooh, they go to love us. Told you. I feel like it's more than one person in here. There it is right there. <sighs> Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or there's choices and decisions. You could have multiple options. You could have multiple people on the job that's trying to holler at you and you hollering at them. <laughs> what they call an uh, open uh, opportunity. Uh, open opportunity is some type of opportunity, okay? It's almost like you you pleasing everybody, god dang it. Everybody your friend because they, they, they pampering you. They buying you lunch. They putting gas in your car. They doing all types of stuff. <laughs> but, but somebody could want more or there may be a need to decide on what you want. I feel like somebody's been deep diving, okay? Somebody may have already made up their mind. Two of wands here. Because the three of wands, this is somebody here who is planning something here. See, I feel like there it is. There's some unfinished business from someone from your past. Because there go the knight of wands and the justice card again. See, there it is. Told you. They go to past life, Aries. But I feel like the reason why you have, un your cycles ain't closed because there's something that you still need to learn. You got unfinished business with your soulmate here, Aries. Now, what's up with this two of cups for Aries? Why is the two of cups here? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Somebody hand trying to be intertwined with you. Somebody feels like you guys are so connected and you may not even be together, but somebody may still feel attached. Why is the Two of Cups here? Six of Swords. 
moving away from conflicts. Somebody doesn't want to, either somebody is moving away. Somebody could be moving away from another situation to come back to a soulmate here. So Aries, you could have a soul, you could be moving towards somebody here who you feel more of a connection with and leaving the other one or leaving the other ones in the cold or someone here may be coming to you after they've left someone. They go death, Scorpio. I feel like you feel like there's unfinished business, but there's a need to change. So you, somebody could be coming your way, but with the death in the reverse, either someone here is not is still having closure issues or someone has been ch uh, avoiding change because they go to eight of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody see because they go to five of one. Somebody, somebody may just like dating multiple people here. Somebody could, could have multiple people and like dating multiple people. See, somebody's in their karma, in their karma here. This could be you, Aries, with this page of cups, queen of wands, and the magician card. Somebody may be trying to manifest you. Somebody could be saying that they know how to get you. Somebody could be looking at, somebody, look. Somebody could try to put some spell work on you to get you to settle down because you made somebody may be looking at you like you're doing too much, you're moving around too much, you got too many other people you're dealing with. So don't be surprised somebody be trying to work some love spell on you for you to come in. It's almost like somebody wants to control you because maybe they feel like you're out of control because you may be doing your own thing. But I feel like you're getting a lot of attention on you. So you could be the life of the job. You could, this could be a, 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 a job where, where everybody want a piece of Aries. But you may have a real connection somewhere else that you're not dealing with. But Spirit is telling you there's unfinished business with that. Why is the Six of Wands here for Aries? Clarify the Six of Wands. I feel like you may be on your job getting a lot of success or maybe you just popping heads right about now. It is your, your Aries season. And I feel like you ain't looking for no love here, Knight of Cups. See? See, some of y'all may be feeling y'all self, and y'all may be having somebody here that's trying to slow you down. With, with <laughs> Look, Aries, y'all probably out here popping bottles and shaking y'all tail and being the life of the party and living y'all best life and folks hollering at you, trying to hook up with you. But then you got that soulmate over there that's trying to come back, and you like, you ain't got time for that, that right now. The Knight of Cups, you say you ain't got time, but look, love is here anyway, whether you get it or not, there it is. I feel like you're not focused on that. I feel like you are blocking it. And I feel like you can do that because maybe you got other, oh, maybe it's somebody else. Ooh, see there? I feel like even though you got a lot of people that's trying to holler at you, I, I feel like you got a, a, a person here who you have deeper feelings for out of everybody else. So for some of y'all, you low key blocking everybody else because you got a soft spot for somebody else. But you ain't telling the rest of your dudes or the rest of your chicks. You ain't telling everybody else that you got this person on the side that you got this unfinished business with because it was a one-sided relationship because somebody was out here doing their own thing. Three of Cups for Aries. What's up this Three of Cups? I feel like it's third-party energy. I feel like you've met people while you out dating or you're just out here casually dating, but I feel like it's friends with benefits kind of and you ain't got time for nothing to slow you down, but I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's affecting you anyway. Look, three of cups, ten of pentacles. Mm. So something is going to lead to something serious here. Now it could represent that you balling, you you page, you know you got a lot of money and it ain't and you and you attract people. It could be that you you so fine and you so abundant that you just attract people that want to be with you. Be careful, people may want to hook up with you for your money. I feel like you know you are, but I feel like you don't see. I feel like something done changed. You could have been the life of the party where you always tricking off and buying and spending money and stunting. But I feel like something is changing in you because I feel like the, the pleasures you used to get, see, the pleasures you used to get, you're finding no pleasure in them anymore because everything is starting to be the same, the same old stuff. Three of Pentacles for Aries. What's up with this Three of Pentacles? I feel like someone has surrounded themselves with multiple people in their life. 
Somebody's always had a date. Somebody never have to be alone. But somebody's also realizing that the, the contentment, the pleasure, whatever, the, the, the adrenaline rush, the ego, whatever they thought that they were getting in the past, it don't work no more. See three of Pentacles and the Hermit. Somebody's realizing that the people that they are around does not hold a match to this. And somebody may have been trying to run away from this because they wanted to be single and be out here and do what they want to do. But I feel like spirit has been dealing with you. about. I feel like this connection has been rough. I feel like it's been one of those connections. See, because there go the five of swords here. I feel like somebody may have dated other people. I feel like somebody was on the job dating here. So I feel like somebody was scandalous and they just didn't give a if, okay? They was on the job. They, you know, they was popping. And it ain't even got to be on the job, but I see a lot of job energy. It could be just somebody here who's just known to be somebody here who's well known within the community. A good catch. But it could be to somebody here that didn't want to settle down, too. See, eight of cups. Somebody got to walk away from something. Somebody may be realizing that it's easy, it's better to walk away from all this uh, curricular activity because it's costing them money, but they ain't found no love. See, something happening anyway. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow. One more card for the Three of Pentacles. Something may have came out on, on uh, that go to high priestess. I feel like some secrets are being exposed or some things have come out and it changed everything. It's almost like maybe, maybe, maybe your, uh, your people, if, especially if you're dating mo multiple people, maybe they all getting together and having a conversation about you. If, if this is a work situation, then you got all the people that you flirt with, all the people you talk to, all the people you don't hung out with in any kind of way, they are getting together and discussing it. But the funny part about it is that they still will get down, okay, with you, all right, justice in the reverse, even if it is unfair and unbalanced or something you got going on that they like, <laughs> it's something you got going on that they like, all right, <laughs> look, at they, they, somebody buying your lunch every day, look, the ten of swords, see, I feel like somebody's spending money every day, but somebody's been all about they self, too, with this justice in the reverse. I feel like a lot of people done got let down by you, too, including your twin flame. See? Yep, I just feel like somebody here was just wanting to live their life because they may have not been trusting it. Or maybe your person, your soulmate is not trusting you now. Just as in the reverse, they go to hangman. See, there's delays now. Stagnation, nothing is happening anywhere. See, now somebody is unhappy. See, I feel like somebody overdid their life or overdid their dating or overdealing or overdid their their sauce, their their finesse. Somebody may have finessed a good thing right out their life here too, playing games. It's like the very thing that you may have ran away from probably is the very thing that you probably going to want now. Because I feel like you're going to miss this person if you're not already or they, them, vice versa. But you got the Ace of Pentacles here. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles? got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles for Aries? A huge opportunity, enormous opportunity, something major. They go to high fento. Ooh, some type of commitment. Spirit is opening up. Spirit is giving you another opportunity with something real. I feel like it's with that Queen of Cups because you got the Ace of Cups over there by that Queen of Cups. They go to devil in the reverse. Wow. So Spirit is going to give you another chance with a situation. Or maybe your person is moving on and having something new somewhere else. Well, no. Somebody, there it is. They go to fool. See, there, it's time for somebody to make up their mind, but I feel like spirit is guiding you. There go the sun card, and there go the seven of swords. So I feel like somebody's options does not hold a, can't, does not hold a match to the soulmate connection, but maybe somebody was just wanting to run the streets here. Once again, I feel like you got a soulmate here that, you have unfinished business with, all right? So this is your reading. If it resonates, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you. 
I hope you guys are living your best life around this uh, Aries season. Uh, I happen to be an Aries moon, honey, uh, but I love me some Aries energy. So anyway, Aries, you guys have a beautiful, abundant birthday. Thank you guys so kindly. Please thumbs up the video on your way out. Thank you guys so much. And I'll talk to you on the next one.